And that was my whole view on his politics. Now here's a song from Morning Pie called Going to the Grocery Store. It's a brand new one. Y'all try and stay away from that water. We're under a bar alert now. There you go. Call us listen. We gotta go visit your mom again so we can get at least 50 bucks. She needs to give us 50 bucks. It is her fault after all for not giving us that money we deserve after all we've done for her. And you better get a better job if you want to live better, baby. That's why you ain't going nowhere. It's your fault we live in this shit house anyways. Plus, I don't like that dying you've been working at anyway. It's a piece of shit. I, plus, I think I, you and that Jeff guy, you've been screwing around with him, ain't you? Dumb whore. Shut your goddamn mouth. You don't do nothing for us. You don't even got a job. No, woman, this is all your fault. You cause way too much stress. Always saying I ain't doing nothing. <clears throat> Hell, I'm the one bringing in the real money. And the finest blood in town. Shit, woman, you can't do a damn thing to save your own damn life. Who pays the fucking bills, Ralph? Who's paying for the food, Ralph? Me. Me, me, me. Jesse pays for the bills. Jesse pays for the food. And you don't do a goddamn thing. My mom was right telling me not to marry your dumb ass. You ain't nothing but a damn fool. Come on, baby, I can't stand seeing you upset like this. Don't do this to me. I love you. I love you. I love Jesse. Oh shit, it might be the cops. Oh, it's just the neighbor. Don't let that lesbo in. She probably just wants some sugar. car sucks. I can't wait for the Mercedes to get out of the shop. It's your brother's car. I don't know what to tell you. Back. When will you be back? What do you mean, when will you be back? I could be pulling a double shift. You don't know. I am the best surgeon in town, after all. It's none of your business, anyway. Well, all I'm saying is it would be nice to have you home for a change. You know, I put off my career so that we could have a baby. And you haven't exactly been supportive of that. Yeah, I still think that was a bad idea. I don't think we're ready to have a baby. I mean, you were at the top of your game. You couldn't wait till your career prospects dried up. I mean, it's not like you could have kickboxed forever anyways. No, Ash, I cannot wait until my career prospects have dried up or anything else has dried up. My biological clock is ticking. If we don't have kids now, I'm worried we won't be able to have kids at all. I can put off the championships for another couple years. Well, whatever, I know how this is gonna go. Your body will be so screwed up after the baby that you won't be able to get back into fighting shape. You'll never get back into kickboxing, and I'll have to take care of everybody for the rest of our lives. Gee, honey, that sounds like a blast. Freaking marital bliss. What is wrong with you? You are such a selfish bastard. But it's not like I'm not doing that already, you know? I mean, you're not bringing in any income. Well, I'm trying to move forward in our marriage, and you just keep thinking about yourself and your money. I was against this from the beginning, and I'm still against this. I don't want a baby. Honey, I hate to break it to you, but babies only create problems and hold people back. Once somebody has a kid, they cease to make any progress in their life. Trust me, I'm a doctor. I see it all the time. Silly me. I'm sorry. I was under the impression that you loved me. And that means I have to have a kid with you to show it? I dropped my career for this. You're making me late for work. Don't do this to me. We'll talk about this later, okay? Wow. You're a piece of work, Ash. You son of a bitch!
Yeah, okay, love you too. Whoa, you don't look so good. Uh, wish I could help, but uh, I'm not on the clock. Thank <laughs> you.